Good morning, welcome to Planet Mojo. Today, I'm gonna to route this heavy service entrance wire up through the rafters and over to where the sub panel's gonna be. Obviously, the sub panel is not in place. I need to get well, I need to get all of this done and the plywood wall in place before I can screw the sub panel into place. But I have to get the wire in so that I can get the ceiling on so that I can have heat out here this winter. I can do all that stuff after this place is heated, but it's almost November and it's going to get really cold in here if I don't get the ceiling in, get the insulation up there and get some heat in here. So here's my thinking on this. I have to run this up across the top of the lower cord here. I'm gonna go all the way over to here and then go on top of this brace, then across the top of that lower cord and then over and down to the panel there. But on this side, there's not a lot of support in the middle there. So what I'm gonna have to do is cut a two by four and go all the way across there. Then I can run the wire on the two by four and then coil it up while I'm doing the rest of the work down here. And the rest will be fixed in place permanently. All right, I have my blocking in here, centers right here. So what I think I'm gonna do is just cut a couple two by four chunks and then run the wire behind that. When I do the final work on it, I'll strap it to this. But for right now, it'll just run behind that and then go on top of the truss right here. And then right before that brace right there, it's gonna dip down and go at the top of the truss just like the propane line and the water line did. The reason for that is I need the top of the truss clear so that I can crawl in here and blow in the insulation. All right, let's pull that wire over here. Well, first we'll get that blocking in place. Then we'll pull the wire over here. And yeah, I'm gonna have to pull it from right here, put the coil right here, pull it up and over that. Yeah, this is gonna be a little bit difficult. All right, let's get to work. Also, I'm gonna need some blocking on the underside of the truss so I can pull it across to the other side. That's how I did the water lines and that's basically the only way it can be done on these trusses. So I'm gonna cut a bunch of blocks and then get all the blocking in place. Then we'll start pulling that wire. All right, I have this for the ends. I still have all the blocking from the water line and I'm gonna run the wire exactly, or nearly exactly, how I ran that water line. Just cut this roughly in half. And we're off to the races. All right, I have this pull completely figured out. What I'm gonna do is pull from right here, put my coil there, come up over this, and then over all of these, up until this brace right here. What I'm gonna have to do is put some blocking right here, here, and possibly down there, so the wire doesn't fall off of this while I'm pulling it. I have part of the truss there on the back side to keep it there. So I need three more blocking here, but I'll continue to pull it across here. Then I may need some blocking for this as well, but I'll figure that out later. I need to pull it. I'm gonna attach it to the top of this truss 
I need to pull it down to the end, over, and then down to the box right there. So we'll grab that wire and get started. I can add this blocking as I go. Fairly heavy. I'm gonna say this weighs 30 pounds maybe, something like that. 30, 40. All right. I wanna get this so it's gonna uncoil smoothly. I believe it wants to go just like that. All right, we got her all the way pulled and I have it fastened down tight right there. I think I might put a couple more fasteners in here on the girts. Then I'm gonna run it along the top and for that I'll be using straps. Then it goes onto this flat board and for that I'll be using U-shaped straps. It comes around here. Well, those would be double hole U-shaped straps. And then when it gets onto the top of the truss here, I'm gonna use one hole straps. The whole while, I'm gonna be pulling it straight and taking the slack out. Yeah, we're gonna have plenty. So on this end, like I said, once it gets down here, I'm gonna hook it behind those boards, coil it up, and that'll be it until after the walls are in and I connect it to the box there. So let's start by putting a couple more of these wood clamps in and then we'll get going up there. 
Okay, little progress update for you. I have two more of these wooden clamps in, and then, like I said, I strapped it to the top of this truss with these metal straps. I think I'm gonna replace that with plastic straps just in case there's any movement of the wire. I don't want the metal cutting into it. I really doubt that that'll happen, but I'm gonna do that anyways. I don't have it with me right now, so this will do for right now. And I think the same thing with that strap right there, strapping it to the web there. I think I'll replace that with plastic as well. And then up on top of this bracing up here, we just have these three quarter inch straps. That should do just fine. So probably three more straps going that way and then I can start pulling it tight and strapping it with one hole straps to the top of that truss cord. And again, at either end, it's gonna go down through inch and a quarter conduit between the box and the ceiling, and that's gonna happen as the ceiling goes in. Good, good, good. So, there's only three things left that are holding me up from putting the ceiling in. One is these joists here. They have to go all the way across in all four bays. I already have a fair amount of them in, but I'm gonna have to figure out what I gotta do here. Shouldn't be too hard to figure that out, but I'm gonna guess the joists are gonna take, oh, maybe two days. I have this partition wall that has to go in. That, oh, I really don't know how long that's gonna take. I'm gonna have to clear out this whole area here and shift a lot of things around to put that up. And I need to test the water line and the propane line. And finally, I need to get the insulation on these three sections of wall and that section of wall so that I can get the girts on. The F and J channel that the ceiling goes into is attached to those girts. That's why I need that wall in as well. A lot of stuff is gonna be going on in the next week. So if you wanna see that, make sure you subscribe and click on the update icon. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you put them in the comment section below. And if you share the video and or give it a like, it helps the channel out greatly. Thanks for watching and have a great day.